We welcome you back inside the Gillum Center. It's the 2021 Ole Miss Invitational. And boy, do we have a good one coming your way right here on the SEC Network as Ole Miss at 3-0 takes on Coastal Carolina out of the Sun Belt Conference. Season with the pandemic and what, and they are, I think, ready to kind of get that back. That's a good start for the Chanticleers as the overpass is dealt with. It'll be 1-0 early on for Coastal Carolina. And it's picked up by Riley Fisher, the Florida transfer. Schnitta with a lightning bolt on the right side. Six-point lead for the Rebels. Perigini on the serve receive. This will be Doris Carter on the outside. Petrenko gets the second ball. Sada into the net. An attacking error gives Ole Miss game number one. Bear with two kills here in game number two. Ole Miss will reset. Schnitta tracks it down, and she's stuffed by Nance. Then Bergio covers it and sends it over. Tipped. Now here's Schnitta on the right side, finds the back corner, and the Rebels have a two-set lead against Coastal Carolina. If you know how to play, and these players, because of that international style, they just learn to trust each other. Excuse me, the, the free ball sent over. Petrenko setting Doris Carter, who is on fire right now for Coastal. Only scheduled back in 2020. Good opportunity to challenge yourself with some unfamiliar foes. And Samantha Schnitta showing she's highly capable. McLaughlin this time is going to go to Bear on the near side. There's a block. Bergio kept it alive. She'll put the ball over after Bear goes into the stands. Doris Carter is rejected. Petrenko outside to Bozdova. That's a big swing. Carvacho serves. Petrenko pushing it outside to Carter. Too strong, no touch. Ole Miss completes the sweep. Final score in set number three, 31 to 29. Four straight sweeps to begin the year for Ole Miss. That does it for us here. I'm Seth Austin with Brittany McLaughlin. For our entire crew, take care. You can catch this match on replay as well as other matches on our family of ESPN networks by going online to watch ESPN.com or by downloading the ESPN app.